apologies for losing it as well. Though. That's not very professional. Way. <laughs> Thank you so brilliant. much. That was, that was brilliant. What are we doing next? Um, regions. Like it, they came over in exactly the same. The only thing is it was a lot higher than what the bomber was. When the, this bomber come over, I'd say at most 100 foot. And by the time it had been round three times, it just missed the slates in. So you, you can say 45, 50 foot when it came over. Because we were still on. Try, it accelerated to try and get over the trees and his last engine failed. This is where he landed. So, and, and of course, if we hadn't have been on, did they want, would have had a grand life. Okay, I wouldn't have had a family. And pals. <laughs> that will never happen. That will never happen. As I've said to people, imagine, imagine you've just killed somebody in a car. How would you feel? Multiply that by 10. And that's how I feel with these lads. If it hadn't been for me being on there, they weren't had an happy life, most probably. And I wouldn't have had no family. You know, so it's... Uh, and I, I still maintain that I killed them. This is, this is how it's affected me. So then coming here today and seeing 10,000 people and, and the aircrafts flying overhead and just know, meeting Tony and, and seeing the memorial, it's words can't convey how much all of that coming together means to me and to the other families. What's the use in diving? Straighten up and fly around. Today we're memorializing 10 people who passed away, sacrificing their lives to save the children who are playing in this field here in uh, Sheffield. So today is a wonderful opportunity for us to memorialize those men, to honor the service that Tony has given over the years, keeping the, uh, keeping the memorial clean and neat, just keeping the memory of those men alive. We were at school and, and we was informed of the, 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 the aeroplane crashing and it was, obviously you can imagine for kids, it was a big exciting event. So we were all interested to try and get to see it. We weren't allowed out of school, obviously, until lunchtime. And on that lunchtime day, we tried to get, we came to the railings there, and we weren't allowed in the park. And the next day, we came up, and we tried to get in, and, and it was, again, to a point. It was after that, when we were allowed in the park, and we were searching the bank for rubble and artifacts, and one or two things were found, goggles and stuff like that. It's an, it's an incredible story of human sacrifice. They sacrificed their own lives to save the lives of the children uh, in the park. And uh, Tony has spent 70 odd years tending to the uh, memorial. It shows you how much it, it means to him. And uh, judging by how many people are here today, there must be more than 5,000 people here. It shows you what it means to the people of Sheffield. That their names, all of the 10 US servicemen, were on one of those planes there going above us. And with a huge crowd as well, thousands of people who've come here to commemorate the service, which your relatives 